Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to plot the electronic band structure and its corresponding density of states in one graph together. So this is the graph we are talking about. Where this is the electronic band structure, this is the corresponding density of states. Sometimes you might be interested in plotting this band structure and the DOS together instead of separately. Now let's go to the folder where the input file of this electron band structure and the corresponding density of state is okay so this is where i have the graph uh, the files now this particular file contains the electronic band structure so let me open it so these are the x-axis x-axis and the y-axis for the electronic band structure it was plotted using a code called quantum expresso then these are the density of states that we also plotted, the various density of state for the structure. Okay, so the script that we are going to use to plot this graph is this. So this is the script that will be used to plot it. And um, this is the density of states. Uh, this is the graph. So let me reduce it. Okay. So first of all, we need to interpret what each of these lines represents. Now, you, when you are plotting, you must set up this particular statement. Then the output, you must set this output where this one can be anything that you like to put, any name, any title, dot .eps. So when you plot, the graph will come out in this particular um, title, dot .eps. So the first thing we need to do is to set the multiplot. We set the multiplot layout. One is to two, which means one is to one, two. One is to one, two. So that's why we have one, two. If you want a one by three graph, where you have one, two, three, you make here one is to three. If it's a two by two graph, where you want one, two, three, four graphs, it will now be two by two. Then this line represents sets the right margin is zero. The right mm -hmm. margin, the right margin, the right part of this graph from here to here, and the right part of this graph from here to here is zero. That's the notation. So we say set no key, set no x ticks. When we say set no x ticks, it means there will be no ticks along this part, along the x here. There will be no x ticks. Set y label energy equal to this. So this is my set y label. It will produce this one set x zero axis line with z x zero axis so we are setting our x zero axis then set border 15 line with two the border between this part and this we we'll say it's 15 and line with two our e minimum is minus five minus five to e5 e maximum is five label position we are setting this label position and we'll make use of it later. 5.25. Set label this expression at this. This expression here gives this particular expression gamma. So we are setting this label gamma. So set label gamma. This is how to write gamma in GNU plot at minus 0 0.03. Minus 0. This is the x axis. And this is my y axis. And my y axis now is this one here. So we want to place this gamma below this minus 4, minus 5, just a little bit below minus 5. That's why we have minus 5.25. So set label. Now set label x at this expression and y label. So this is our x. We are setting it at x 0.97 label position then set x it gives us this so this is what all these ones here will give us all this label that you have here along this path then we'll move on to the next line set arrow no head when you set arrow no head there won't be arrow at all it's just a straight line from zero to zero this is my x this is my y to this is my x this is my y line with one so this is what it will give us this line here so this side 
is the zero axis of y, zero axis of x. So from this point, you draw a straight line to another point. This side is my 3.5, sorry, 3.78. Then along this side is my zero along the y. So this statement here gives this straight line. Now set arrow no head from one to e minimum, sorry, from one point comma e minimum to one comma. So all these commands that you have here, all these statements that you have here, they represent this line, these lines, and these lines, these lines, they represent those lines. Then the next thing is when you see a comment, it means that particular statement is not considered, it's not going to be taken. They will now say plot. This is this, the command that will now plot the graph. This is the input for a structure. This is structure. Look at it here. Structure for the band structure. This is the structure. Okay. So using one is to two. Using the x axis against the y axis. This my f is my Fermi energy. My Fermi energy with lines, line type one line with three okay so now we we'll move to the density of state parts for the density of states which is starting from this point we have our set left margin one which is the left part of our density of states we are setting it to be one so that there will be space set right margin 0 0.5 which is this part 0 0.5 the right margin this margin here 0 0.5 on set y label we don't want this label here to appear here so that's why we are on setting the y label now set format y you make this statement to remove the values of the y ticks and leave and leave and leave um, the y tick the to leave the ticks untouched that means this command will make us have these ticks these ticks, these ticks, these ticks, without putting any number there. So we set no key, means the keys that are supposed to be set here, we want to unset it here. Then set size 0 0.35 comma 1. The size of this particular stuff is 1. This length is 1. Why this tick, this breadth is 0 0.35. Set no arrow. All these lines, we don't want it to reappear here again. So we set set no arrow. Set x z zero axis. Set x zero axis line with two. That one is taken care of by our zero axis for the um, x axis along the x axis. No zero axis. You can see there are no zero axis. Okay. Set border fifteen line with two. So we've taken care of that one. Set line with one. Set line uh, line my uh, left margin. Set right margin. We've already explained this one. Then our fem energy is equal to this. Then on set label. Any label that you set here, you have to unset it here, so that it will not reappear there. Okay. So we now set our own label. EF at seven point five comma zero. This is my x axis, and this is my zero, which is giving us this EF. This EF is giving us this EF. So you can see along the Y is zero, which is zero. Along my X, the thickness from here to here is 7.5. Set label PDOS at 0 0.8 minus 5.2. So this particular expression, we are setting it at 0 0.8. This is my X axis, 0 0.8. So from here to somewhere here, no, sorry, from here to somewhere here is 0 0.8 then my y is zero so okay no, where are we now uh, y okay minus 5.2 the thickness from here to here is zero sorry from here is zero here is five and here is five just a little bit below it will give us this position the y position which is 5.2 set arrow no head from 0 0.0 to 0 0.8 this expression which is this line that we are setting, this one here, this tiny line. Set key at 8, comma, minus 0 0.2. These are our keys. If you see the position, x is 8, 
along my x we are setting it at 8 then along my y minus 0 0.2 if this is 0 as you are coming down minus 0 0.2 will be somewhere here okay set key spacing one the spacing between this line and this line we said we are saying that it should give a space of one if i increase this one to two this space between here will increase at this and this so we now use this plot this plot to plot the entire graph if you recall that we have our input file for the corresponding dlc of state one two three four five six seven so we want to plot all together and that gives us this expression so this one hence here for the first file the next one is this one which is its ne next file then followed by this which is the next file ends here then followed by this which is the next file then followed by this which is the next file they are all separated by commas okay so if this is a file for the first dos we are now saying using two is to one instead of one is to two we are using two is to one just to reverse it so our x axis will now be along the y axis then our y axis which is this will now be along the x axis then this is the tie to v dash 2x so this is what you want as your title with line line with 2.5 so this title the position of this title is determined by these um, sets key at this expression so that's how this particular part is taken care of then finally you unset your multi plots you unset the multi plots so the question is how do we run this particular file in gnu plots okay so what we'll do is to call up our terminal and cd into this place which is all this one here so i'll cd into hisla v v then band then dos so if you list you see all these things they are all there so the next thing now is to just say gnu plot then to run this command which is this particular one we we'll use dot slash bound underscore dos1 so by the time you click enter the graph will come out this is the graph so i'll open it and voila this is the graph yeah so finally whenever the graph is not um, okay by you you can go back to the scripts and re-edit it and save it and rerun it to give it the final script i hope this um, video helps please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you